Hey everyone, welcome back to Code With Me. In this lesson, we're diving into one of the most crucial topics in C programming, dynamic memory allocation. This is an advanced but super important concept that gives you full control over how your program uses memory. By the end of this session, you'll understand how to use malloc, calloc, realloc, and free, how to properly manage dynamic memory, and how to avoid memory leaks. And to put it all into practice, we'll build a program that dynamically allocates memory for a matrix and performs matrix addition. So, let's get started. All right, let's first understand what dynamic memory allocation is. Normally, when we declare variables or arrays in C, the memory is allocated at compile time. This means the size is fixed and we can't change it later. But what if we don't know the size in advance? That's where dynamic memory allocation comes in. It lets us allocate memory at runtime, making our programs more flexible. Now let's talk about the four key functions used for dynamic memory allocation in C, malloc, calloc, realloc, and free. First, malloc, which stands for memory allocation. It reserves a block of memory, but does not initialize it. Think of it like reserving a hotel room. You have a space, but there's no furniture inside. Here's an example. Int ptr, ptr, int malloc five size of int. This allocates memory for five integers and assigns the address to PTR. Since the memory is uninitialized, it may contain garbage values. Next, we have calloc, which stands for contiguous allocation. It works like malloc, but also initializes the memory to zero. Think of it like booking a hotel room with furniture already set up. Here's an example. E int PTR, PTR winstar calloc five, size of int. Here, memory for five integers is allocated, and all elements are initialized to zero. Now, what if we need to resize the allocated memory? That's where realloc comes in. It helps expand or shrink an already allocated block of memory. It's like upgrading from a single room to a suite in a hotel. PTR equals int realloc PTR, 10 times size of int. This increases the memory block to store 10 integers instead of five. Finally, we have free, which is used to release allocated memory when we no longer need it. If we don't free memory, we might create a memory leak, where memory keeps getting used up without being released. Here's how we free memory. Free, PTR, PTR equals null. Setting PTR to null prevents accidental access to freed memory, avoiding segmentation faults. Now, let's apply what we've learned with a real-life example. We'll write a program to dynamically allocate memory for a matrix and perform matrix addition. Here's the code. How does this program work? One, first, we ask the user for the number of rows and columns in the matrix. Two, we dynamically allocate memory for three matrices, matrix A, matrix B, and result. Three, we take user input for matrix A and matrix B. Four, we add corresponding elements of matrix A and matrix B, storing the result in result J. Five, we print the final result. Six, finally, we free all dynamically allocated memory to avoid memory leaks. Let's see an example. If the user inputs matrix A, one, two, three, four, five, six, matrix B, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, the output will be eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And that's it. You now understand how dynamic memory allocation works in C. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Code With Me for more in-depth coding lessons. See you in the next video.